I've got this client who sent me some financial information to determine who the best seller is in their company for the last seven months. They've sent me some files named for each of the last few months, but in Google Sheets is not really the best way to do it. Now, Microsoft Excel has been designed to easily aggregate information from different tabs and different files. However, Google Sheets is the other way around. It's used to disaggregate. So for Microsoft Excel, it's very similar to how you'd have old ledgers, where you'd have a January ledger, put it away once you're done, and then get out your February ledger. Then at the end of the financial year, your accountant would come along and combine all of that into a single report. Now on Google Sheets, they've taken a different design approach where everything should be in one tab. You've got your different days, your different months, even your different years, all in one tab. And then from there, you use formulas to extract information out of that into a different file or into a, a different tab. And then you can create your reports from there. So we're going to use ChatGPT to combine all of the information from these different files into one tab within our Google Sheet. So this is what our data looks like. We can see that we have headers and then we have the three columns with name, uh, number of sales and amount. We'd also want a fourth column here to say where the folder came from. So it would say January, 2023. So let's put all that together into a new chat. Can you write a Google app script that combines all Google Sheets files within one folder, all into the current Google Sheet? Each file below the next, but ignoring the top row because we've got those headers. So let's see what ChatGPT can do. So it tells us uh, what the code is, how to run it, and that we have to replace the folder ID, which is right up here with the folder ID. I'm actually gonna change this just a little bit. Can you change it so that it uses the folder that the current file is in? So what we're looking for is the get parents property. We want that fourth column that tells us what the file name is. Can you add an extra column in column D with the file name where each row came from? So there's our response. We've got the code. Let's copy that code and head over to our spreadsheet. Let's add in a thousand lines just so that we can get prepared for the data coming in. And we'll go extensions, app script. Within the app script, we'll just delete the base function that's there and we'll paste that in. Let's save it. And then click on run. We'll have to go through the normal permissions just like we would for any app script. We can see the execution started and it's completed. If we go back to the spreadsheet, we can see here that we have the date. I asked it to be in column D, but in column A is perfectly fine. Uh, then we've got the name and the number of sales followed by the um, sales amount. And that goes through all of the uh, different months. So we have it all completed. So ChatGPT has done a fairly good job of combining all of this information into one tab, how it usually should be. Uh, organized and now we can get onto the data analysis once we've cleaned up the file a little bit. Now if this has been helpful to you please leave a like and leave a comment down below to let us know how you've taken advantage or want to take advantage of ChatGPT in Google Apps Script and Google Sheets. I'll see you next time.